guys oh my god it is late but um i wanted to come on and just share something real quick i'm tired needs to be in the bed but i'm walking around and um cleaning up and i just i was just thinking about so many things like a lot of things like 2021 there was a lot of stuff that happened a lot of things that unfolded in my life and it was like one thing after the next you know and so i just want to talk about that um if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so um if you are subscribed make sure you hit the notification button the like and the share so that we can stay connected so you can know when i'm dropping a video um just su support you know support means the world to me you know i when i started this channel it was all to just you know be real with everybody talk about the things god put on my heart talk about my own life and the things that he's brought me through so i hope you will continue to share my channel and come on and support me and come in and you know so on and so forth and may there always be a word or something that blesses you and put a smile on your face even a smile is a blessing in this day and time but back to what i was saying i was going through a lot in 2021 a whole lot um even 2020 but 2021 was a real mess and so i'm cleaning up and i'm just thinking about it like got you up and had me move to texas um and it's like everything just fell into place, fell into place. So I know that that's what he wanted for for me. That's what he wanted for my family. And but with everything that unfolded, I began to question God. Is this makes no sense? Why would you up and move me here, or up and have our family make such a big decision for it to only come with a whole lot of pain? Um, the, not the move, you know, not being in Texas, just family things, just issues, just hurt, just disappointment, you know, and it's crazy because so often you try to make sense of the things of God and his ways are not our ways, his thoughts are not our thoughts. And I just so happened to be watching a video and a lady was saying the same thing, how she, God moved her and how, uh. It seemed to always be one thing after the next, but, you know, I learned a long time ago, hearing her talk and thinking back, I learned that from my pastor a long time ago that the blessing is just the beginning. That's just a piece of it. It's just the beginning. There's a whole lot of other stuff that come with that blessing that prepares you for where you're going and what you got to do. So when he gets you there, there's still more work to be done to position you for something even more for your next move. But... I said that I'm saying all that to say as I'm cleaning up and I'm just thinking about everything I went through. Oh my God, we have to talk about it one thing at a time, one thing at a time. But as I'm thinking about it, I'm like, Lord, I've been going through so much. Like, when my life gonna come together? When is it all gonna make sense? And I thank God for the Holy Spirit. I thank God for it, for the for the things that he brings to remembrance when we begin to feel forgotten or when we begin to feel like we just been going through trials and tribulations. But literally, as I began to form that thought, the Holy Spirit begins to form another thought of the grace of God, you know. So sometimes when life happens, we have to get in a mindset of remembering the grace so it's kind of like every situation that came to mind he reminded me of the grace every situation that came to mind he reminded me of when the situation happened and me praying and saying god just let this so-and-so be or when something else happened and i was like lord i just need to hear a voice or i need to do this or i need some confirmation or i need to know they're okay or i need this and he always came through even in the situation his grace gave me peace. Even in a situation, he answered my prayer. And so there were things that had to happen because God's plan is God's plan. 
But at the same time, there was a level of grace. There was a level of growth, you know. Um, there was a level of understanding and a better understanding of God and who he is for my different family members who were going through different things. Because they went through that, their conversation changed, the way they saw things. God being real to them on a whole different level happened. And so just as much as I was hurting, God was working. You know, just as much as I was hurting, God was working. And it was just a grace. It was him answering a simple prayer. It was a phone call because I couldn't sleep because I just needed to hear. You know what I'm saying? And it was a it was an apology that I said, God, if this is meant to be, this apology will happen. God, do this and watch over this and this, that, and the other. And I saw it happen every time. I've even seen some things happen that you think negative and you see and you're like, yep, that was your thought. And so I just wanted to encourage you to encourage myself too, to never forget that God's grace is sufficient. You know, we can't forget that because when we forget that, we begin to, what would be the right? We begin to waddle in our trials and tribulations. We begin to feel like he's forgotten about us. We begin to think that everything we went through was just because. And we don't see his hand at work. We don't see. Now I'm just twisting my hair and some of these pieces that's giving me problems. But we don't see him moving and doing what he do because we're so focused on turmoil. We're so focused on heartbreak. We're so focused on things didn't go the way we thought it should go or things he didn't answer our prayers the way he thought we, he should. And so I just wanted to encourage you to know that his grace is so sufficient. It is so sufficient and he loves his children and he know what each one of his children need i gotta say it's been a very hard year 2021 was very hard but i can tell y'all grown in ways i never thought i would i've had strength for things that <laughs> i never thought i would and i've made peace with things that i never thought i would so i know that it was a necessity for whatever he wants to take me in life and whatever is next so I just encourage you to hold tight to his unchanging hand, knowing that no matter what you're going through and what you're looking at or what you're facing, there is grace there. There is grace there. Just keep looking. There's grace. And so I want to encourage you to trust him and to recognize that his thoughts just not our thoughts. His ways just not our ways. You know, even with COVID. We were so caught up in being worried about COVID and how it was killing people, so on and so forth. But even in COVID, God gave some people children who had been praying and believing for kids, believing for their child for years, who had been promised that they were going to have a kid, who was 35, 37, 38, didn't even think it was going to happen. But it took COVID to sit these people down, to get them and their, them and their spouse at home enough to get the relief and all the stress where they can focus and reconnect and actually bring a child into the world. So sometimes we're so distracted by the things that God just do in order to birth something else. That's it. That is it. That is it. That is it. Sometimes he just do what he does because he's trying to birth something else. He's trying to produce something else. And so as much as we have seen people struggling and fearful of COVID, we've seen people businesses grow. We've seen people have kids who never thought they would. We've seen people buy homes. We've seen families be reconciled. We've seen a lot, but a lot of people is missing that because they're so focused on being fearful and being mad about COVID. So I just want to encourage you to not be mad and angry about your turmoils and your tribulations and your disappointments, but to look for his grace and to look for what is it he's trying to birth. And even as I'm talking to y'all, that's my prayer for me. God, help me to pray to see what it is you're trying to birth 
through this during this season of life. God has had me on a faith journey. That's honestly what I feel. I've been on a faith journey. And it has broken me. But at the same time, my faith has grown. Who I am spiritually, how I see things is just totally different. And so I want to encourage you to see what God is trying to birth in your life by the things that is happening around you. And that you will praise him and glorify him for being God, for loving you abundantly, for never turning a deaf ear no matter how many times we don't show up the way we should, no matter how many times we promise him we're going to get it right and we don't, no matter how many times we mistreat other people, he still come through and love on us. He still answers prayers. He still is grace, graceful and merciful in all of that. And so... I just pray that you will seek him for what he's trying to birth in your life. Oh, my Lord. Oh, God. Glory to God. I pray that whatever it is, whatever it is he's trying to birth, whatever it is, whatever it is he's trying to birth in me, whatever it is he's trying to produce in your life, I pray wholeheartedly that you will be more concerned with what he's trying to birth than your situation and oh my god mm. oh my god oh my god oh lord i pray that whatever it is he's trying to birth god glory oh lord whatever it is whatever it is Whatever it is in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is he's trying to birth. Lord God. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Oh Lord. Oh God. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Trust the process. And let him produce what he want to produce. Let him show you that he ain't forgot about the prayers from 10 to 15 years ago. Whatever it is, this video was not supposed to be this long. I need to be going to bed, but I pray, I pray, I pray that you made it to this point to be hearing this from me. And I pray that it blesses you in a way that you can't even imagine as it's blessing me in this moment right now. I glorify him for his grace. I, oh God. I glorify him for his grace because it's his grace that has kept my sanity. It's his grace that continues to give me peace. It's his grace in that moment where I feel like I'm about to break that remind me I got you. So as much as I want to complain, I'm reminded of the song, I won't complain. Because I know he's full of grace. He's full of mercy. He's full of understanding. He's full of forgiveness. There's so many things he didn't have to answer because of my own mistakes. My own not being where I should be. You know, but he answered in any way because he loved me so much. And so, I pray this blesses y'all. Oh my God. I pray. So... You know, I love y'all. I thank God for the opportunity to get on here and just share with y'all how moved I am. And I know in this day and time, everybody want to be so quick to move on and ain't nobody got no time to sit and listen to nothing. But I pray that you made it to this point that, to listen to this whole video and to truly, truly be blessed by what God put on my heart tonight. So y'all have a great night, a great day, a great whatever, because God's grace is sufficient. I love y'all. I'll be praying for y'all. Be sure to continue to pray for me. Pray for these plants that I am twisted right that keep sticking out. <laughs> but you know, um, I love y'all and I look forward to having more conversation with y'all soon. Be blessed.